Welcome to the historic Ryman Auditorium for what promises to be a great night of live music. Good evening, my name is Nan Kelly and I am thrilled to be here to bring out our musical guest tonight. He has one of the most recognizable and one of the most gifted voices in all of country music and now Christian music. He was the lead singer for over 20 years for Rascal Flatts and now he's turning down a different musical path different for his listeners, but definitely not different for his own heart. Please welcome Gary LaVox. Come on out here, brother. I'm coming. <laughs> Hi, man. Oh, how perfect to see you. It's so great to see you, too. How are you? You look and great. To, oh, thank you. And to be in the Mother Church of Country Music that was a church. Aww. We're going to have a little church in here tonight, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, I took a little time during the pandemic and just really, my pa it's my passion project. And so really got some great, great music and I just can't wait to, I'm just so glad to be staying on a stage that I just, I came and see straight. I bet. And the, your, your fellas back here were excited yep. to play live music. So Christian music is now your new path. We're going to hear some of this music in just a little bit, but can you can you open it up with some Rascal songs for Let's us? Let's do would it. You? I'd love to. Well, before we get going, okay. we've already got people, uh, this is live, we've already got okay. people writing in, so make sure to send us some questions for Gary. But some, some of your fans want to know, when's, where's the first place you want to tour when shows are back? Do you have an idea? Uh, just where there's people. Where there's people? Yeah. Yeah, I don't a tip care. Jar? Yeah, a tip bar mitzvah. <laughs> I don't even care where it's at. Yeah, I, I don't. I really don't. I have no preference. Wherever there's people and they're ready to go, because we are. Well, the crew, we're ready to go tonight. Um, what is one of your favorite Rascal Flatts songs to sing? You know, I'd have to say probably Broken Road. Just it's been yeah. such a huge part of so many people's biggest day of their lives. You know, so Broken Road is always it's always a great one. So that was Miss Karen. She asked that question. And Nancy asked the one about the touring. I forgot to say. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Karen. Yes. Um, and let's see. How did you guys come up with the name Rascal Flats? Is there a meaning to the name? This is Angela Cook from Georgia. Angela Cook from Georgia. There is no meaning. Really? To the name. I promise you. We were playing right down the street at Fiddle and Steel Guitar Bar. And we were looking for a band name because we, we had the most awful names on the planet with the three of us. So we had mentioned from stage all night if anybody had a cool idea for a band name. And a buddy of ours just said, man, you should be called Rascal Flats. And we were like, what's it mean? And he well, said, well, I don't know. It was the name of our garage band back in the 60s. <laughs> So we were like, well, we'll try it. So that's, and it worked. Well, it stuck, didn't it? It did. I think everybody's ready for the music. You guys ready to pick and sing? We're ready? ready. Okay. Gary the Vox, everybody. Take it away, my friend. Thanks, huh? In an old cottonwood tree, signed a bunch of high school yearbooks so they wouldn't forget about me. It wasn't till I saw my daddy's name in stone I knew it ain't a question of if they will, it's how they remember you. Did you stay?
Everybody, hope this is a song that you remember. It's called Fast Cars and Freedom. Here we go. Thank you. 
Y'all, thank you so much for making this song such a huge part of the biggest days of your life. Hopefully you enjoy it. It's called God Bless the Broken Road. could be a better song in this place and your audience out there guys great job Gary they're thanks, going Nick. crazy thanks I see them <laughs> we got a lot of people that are writing in please get get on your computers on your laptops whatever you're using and have a ask a question of Gary because we're right here we're live we'd love to, to chat with you but I want to talk a little bit about this new road um, we just talked about Rascal Flats and we just heard Rascal Flats the last 20 years of your life 
Now this, this transition to Christian music, how did this happen for you in your heart when you decided this is a, this is a road I want to go down? You know, I, I've always wanted to. Yeah, I mean, everybody would ask when, you know, flats and stuff are like, we'd love to hear you guys do a Christian record, you know. Yeah. So growing up in the church and all that, it's just always been a passion of mine. But I mean, literally going 100 miles an hour for 20 years and mm-hmm. meeting deadlines and everything. So mm-hmm. and all of the tragedy of the pandemic and COVID-19 actually had the time to to really do it, you know, and, yeah. and really write and focus. And this is uh, the song that we're going to do. The first one we're going to do is a song called The Distance, which was the first song that I wrote with uh, McVie and, and Josh Hogue for this project. And it was just, you know, it's always been in my heart. I mean, I've always, I've never been ashamed of my faith. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's always been out there. So now I just get to sing about it on a different level. And I, it's just... It's it's time and uh, yeah. God's timing is perfect and and it was just the perfect time and I'm st- I couldn't be more excited about it so we are too if you love gospel music Christian music to hear your voice mm. singing for Him is just a, a blessing mm. to me we got some people that want to ask Him questions and then okay. we're going to get right back to the music are All you right. good with that you mentioned um, the distance Courtney Campbell wants to know what was your inspiration behind the song. Uh, the distance was, you know, it was right. We kind of wrote it like in the begin. The COVID thing was just starting to happen. And um, I knew that last year in 2020 that I was going to to start on it. Didn't know how much I'd get done. But so this was the first song that we wrote for it. And it was just a song of hope. I'm like, you know, it just made sense that it never quit this too shall pass. And it just felt like the right thing to write about that. You know what? I mean, we're looking for at that point was everything was so up in the air and the world about, you know, do you have to vaccine? This is closed mask. Oh, you know, nobody really knew. And I was like, you know, I mean, the whole thing is our, our hope is on the cross. So, um, you know, it was just, it just felt right. So it was really about just hope and, uh, never quitting everybody losing their jobs and everything else. So it was just to put some fire into people's soul to go, you know what, it's going to be all right. Sometimes you just have to surrender. That's right. That's Mm -hmm. exactly right. So a couple more questions, if you will. Um, Michelle wants to know, uh, when did you start your journey following Christ? How old were you? I was young, you know, so I I grew up in a Pentecostal church. So my grandmother and I mean, early, I mean, I was little, you know, Wednesday, twice on Sunday. You were there every night of the week. Oh yeah. If I wanted to be or not tissues and juicy fruit we just <laughs> we rolled up in there so yeah I've you know I, so I've always had a solid foundation right yeah. yes when uh well Katie wants to know Katie Coles wants to know what do you hope to achieve the most on your new journey you know I, I think just the only thing that I really want to achieve is um you know the success of bringing Jesus to the forefront and putting it in the 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 minds of people and and just planting seeds of heaven you know for this for heaven that really that's that's it it's the only the only goal is to you know this this pandemic i think has really put life in perspective for everybody on what's important you know family and faith and uh really you know I, i think it really put all the little small things that we dealt with up until 2020 really didn't matter you know, as much as we thought. So I really just want to, I just want to sing about the Lord and, you know, there's nothing worth, you know, there's nothing worth losing eternity over. So I, uh, that's where I want to be. And I just want to sing about it. I just want to sing about how great he is. I don't want to stop you. Are you ready to keep going? I'm ready. Here in the mother church. Come on. All right. Gary the box. Hey, y'all, this is my brand new song. It's called The Distance. There's a beauty in the struggle. There's help when there's trouble. There's a God that's in your rubble. That I'm going to pick you up There's grace among the sin There's a fight that you will win There's life at the end But only through Jesus I know you want to quit And the enemy says to give in But I promise with God you can Go the distance except the child It's not lost, it's found on a cross And 
comes with God You can go the distance See the road of life we travel As speed bumps, cracks, and detours When you go left and center Just look up This song is called Working on Sunday. i uh-huh. 
Hey y'all, I'm so excited about this next song. It's called A Little Love with one of my dear, dear friends, the lead singer of Mercy Me. Give it up for my brother, Bart Millard. Here we go. Whoa. What about it, brother? Man, not much. You ready? I hope so. Here we go. This song is on the new Mercy Me record. Comes out April 30th. Take it away, guys.